A state lawmaker facing expulsion for sexual misconduct won't be kicked out of office after all. Instead, Senator Tony Mendoza abruptly resigned today, but he didn't go quietly. KPI X5 reporter Susie Steimel at the Capitol with Mendoza's furious farewell message. Susie? That's right, Alan. Tony Mendoza called the investigation into his behavior today farcical. He said many men in this building are afraid of being seen as protecting him. And he also suggested that the Senate president pro tem might not be sincere in his support of the Me Too movement. A letter of resignation has been submitted by Senator Tony Mendoza and has been accepted. Senate President Pro Tem Kevin DeLeon spoke sternly on the floor of the state Senate about changing the culture of sexual harassment in Sacramento. If we're serious about changing the culture and holding our people accountable for their conduct, we must start here and we must start now. DeLeon accepted the resignation of his former roommate, Democratic Senator Tony Mendoza. Mendoza is accused of engaging in unwanted sexual advances towards six women. His resignation letter visibly shocked most senators who spent the morning debating whether to expel him from his position. Mendoza wrote, it is clear that Senate President Pro Tem Kevin DeLeon will not rest until he has my head on a platter to convince the Me Too movement of his, quote, sincerity in supporting the Me Too cause. I think that his colleagues were not there to support him. I think they wanted to um, have him expelled. An independent investigation revealed Mendoza more likely than not engaged in unwanted, flirtatious, and sexually suggestive behavior with multiple subordinates, including asking a female staffer to share a room with him at an event in Hawaii, drank alcohol with a 19-year-old intern, and asked a Senate fellow to come to his home under the guise of reviewing resumes. Mendoza consistently called the investigation unlawful and unfair. Mendoza isn't the only lawmaker currently accused of sexual harassment at the Capitol. So Sacramento will be dealing with more cases like this in the coming weeks. You know, because our guidebook says we have zero tolerance, but it doesn't explain what the remedies are, the ramifications are. It's very vague. So I think what we need to do is really start tightening up for the future. Mendoza is suing the Senate for its handling of this investigation, and he also said in his resignation letter that he plans to be back here. He's expecting to be back on the ballot for re-election in June. Alan? Susie Steimel in uh, Sacramento. Thanks so much.